Put your faith Good morning, happy Monday from Hebangton. Today I am meeting up with a friend for lunch. We're going to a place I've wanted to go to for a long time. Um, but we're here early because I'm gonna get a cup of coffee and we're gonna read. We're gonna go to a new coffee shop that is halfway up the hill. I'm breaking up my long vertical walk <laughs> to the place that we're going for lunch. So um, yeah, let's go get coffee. Hello Namsan, the weather is beautiful. Happy Monday, welcome to a week in my life. Let's go. to shut our minds off. I'm scared of you. What are you up to? But oh my, my fears are slowly shrinking. Please tell me what you plan to do. To do, to do, to do, to do, to do. For you, I would do anything you wanted me to. That's just like nip. <laughs> Words don't mean much if they mean something at all. Oh, I've fallen from a cliffside. Are you here to break that fall? Oh, wow. Hey, guys. Hi. Welcome. Um, I am. Let me get my life situated here. So I just met up with my friend Karen. So it was really nice to catch up with her. We went to um, that tofu place was delicious and that cafe was super good too. Um, they had almond oat and soy milk. That was amazing. So anyway, I am back home and I have like just enough time before um, Kurt gets off of work and we're gonna grab dinner. Um, I have just enough time to slide in a bit of study time. I am trying to get back into the habit. I know that we talked about this before I went to America, but it's hard to actively study and practice Korean when you are outside of Korea and also when you are moving and busy and stuff. So I like did not study <laughs> at all while I was at home. So now that I'm back, I want to get back into it. And I have decided to get more organized and so um, I will be talking to you guys about Notion um, who you might have heard about but Notion is a organizational tool. Um, I've actually used them a bunch before for YouTube stuff which I'll talk about maybe another day but Kurt has actually used Notion and still does use Notion um, for a lot of his work stuff as well. You can just take notes or you can manage tasks like you have calendar applications and like you can embed a lot of different things. I'll talk about Notion all week because that's all I've been doing recently. I'll show you guys a little bit but um, I use Notion for YouTube, for Korean study, and then for normal study and then also just like normal life stuff. I literally have um, a section called brain dump <laughs> where I put dump from my brain. I'm gonna jump into my Korean study section. I will have a link down in the description. Notion is completely free. Um, there are some like premium things that you can pay for, but I use Notion completely free. So I am going to open up Tea Time Season 1 Episode 2. I am gonna focus on that 
just enough time to finish an episode i think so i will catch you guys at dinner okay happy monday this has been lovely my voice is gone but love you always thank you notion for sponsoring this link in the description box um we'll talk more about notion soon i'll give you a better walkthrough but let's study i cannot understand yunjun Everyone else, I can understand them perfectly, and I can like write down the words that I'm not 100% sure about. What are you saying, dude? taking a half day because he is sick and tired aren't we all um so we are going to grab some lunch and then i'm gonna send him off to work and then i might still be meeting up with a friend now my schedule is kind of wonky so who knows what we're gonna do today i'm wearing my library of congress shirt that everybody loves i love it too um so yeah let's go get some munchies Get up, okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, now that I am horrifically full. I got a package that I need to open and I'm scared to open and so I needed to do it in private. I have a friend slash former coworker. I've seen a few other people do it but they didn't live in Korea so I never thought that it was like a reality for me um, but my friend is is Korean living in Korea and she got well, let me just open it. It comes in this weird little house box. What the heck? This is adorable. It's a little house. What's inside? Even better. This is from a brand called Murak Murak. It is a mushroom growing kit. So Kurt and I both really love mushrooms and we go through them like crazy. Oh my god, I'm terrified. I am terrified. Okay, I'm gonna open it. Well, <gasps> I'm gonna close it. Oh my gosh. Let's read the destructions. My friend got, and you might have seen it before, it essentially looks like just this brick. The hunk of fungi out of which the mushrooms grow. I don't... I'm an amateur and so you just kind of can chop off the mushroom part that you eat and then it will just continuously grow as long as you're taking care of it um, as you would like any other kind of normal house plant but I I got an Instagram ad damn it <laughs> um, and it showed me that I could do it in Korea and so this company has like three or four different things and I got the pengi basat the I don't have enough room in my brain, so I'm just like shedding vocabulary words once I add a new one. Pengi. Enoki mushrooms, the long white ones. So like this is the kind of brick I was talking about, but I all but I think I got this one that comes in more of a container. This is more work than I thought it was, so we're gonna have to move to the kitchen. Let's make some pangy basat. Let's go. Oh my god. Alright, so take out about two centimeters of whatever was going on up there so we're supposed to spray it i don't have a spray so winging it 
This? Ha! <laughs> I gotta translate, I don't wanna do this wrong. What is that? Oh, cotton, cotton thingy? That just seems wrong. Let me sit down and like really read this through. Hello, okay, it's been understood now. So um, I did this. They're actually, it's gonna take two weeks for it to like fully, fully come out. So this stuff is for another time. I'm so scared. Okay, we have our cloth that we get wet. Let's fully wet, drape it over like so. And then I'm actually gonna relocate us so that I don't have this mushroom guy sitting on our kitchen table taking up a lot of room. So relocate. Okay, so then we're just supposed to fill this until just to make sure that this bandage stays submerged because it's gonna feed our little dude. I think we're good. Okay, so then we just leave this for five to seven days and then we'll start to see the itty bitty babies and from there we have another step after that but stay here kurt won't even notice you no one's gonna hurt you okay catch you guys later <laughs> Tell me how two introverts managed to talk for four and a half hours. <laughs> Susan is an author. Her debut novel is gonna come out soon. That was just so lovely to talk to her about, kind of pick her brain about everything. Um, so she's inspired me to get back to writing. But yeah, that was absolutely lovely. Now I'm gonna focus on not falling um, on Carlos with you. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Sorry for not filming, but we literally just talked and talked and talked and talked and I'm walking behind a Sheba so I need to look at its butt. Bye! Happy Wednesday. Ignore the bed that I haven't made. Um, I'm I'm just so excited right now. I am going on a trip two weeks from now and they just started a group chat and it's with um, a bunch of people that I went on a previous trip with and they're so funny and I'm just so excited to be reunited with these people. But before I head out, how do I record? Record. You'd think I've never done this before. Okay, so I promised I would go a little bit more into how I use Notion. I am an absolute amateur. I have seen many other videos of people using it for like every little bit of their lives. And I'm actually trying to like be more chill and make less lists, which is difficult for me to even say. I do love using Notion for mainly organization as far as YouTube and then organization as far as studying. So this is my home page. I've broken it down into basically just my tasks as far as like daily tasks and then what's going to go on this week. I did that. A. Hey. You can choose. I really like the kind of check mark kind of things, but they have a bunch of different blocks that you can add in. So I usually use in this case it's a to-do list, but you can create a bullet list, a numbered list, a toggle list. And again, I mentioned one reason why I really like it is that you can embed a lot of things and so for me which i will jump in actually right here i'm not going to show every little piece of it because some of it i'm not supposed to um, for the other brands that i work with but for example um this is my main youtube page and i could have gotten there from my homepage, and this is where i map out what i'm going to be filming and then what is going to be posted when inside of that I have my collaboration section, which is 
amazing. This is actually a template that I didn't have to make this at all. So um, this one has different columns. The one that's a good example um, is actually one that I can't show you because it hasn't been released yet. So I will show you one that I did for a collaboration with another brand on a different channel. Um, I was working with Likewise. And so as you can see, I set up my status. You can put it as next up progress and complete. You can set the different priorities, um, set due dates as usual, etc. So what I do whenever I am setting up a collaboration page is I have it broken down into what my topic is. Um, sometimes this one I've already done, so it has like the actual title of the video, but I might put um, any kind of thoughts or comments I have about what I want the video to be like. Um, and then I have shots that are needed. Sometimes a brand will ask for very specific things such as screen recording using the app, which I did. I ended up not showing the sign up process. Um, and then here are the official talking points. Normally they will send you a Google doc or something like that. And me, embedding that in right here really helps me save a lot of time rather than going back and forth in between my email and stuff like that. I can just click it right here and it will open immediately. They were a very easy uh, collaborator. A lot of times there will be more specific things that you need to say and do. So I will kind of just put those right here um, so that I can really easily check up on that. But all they gave me was a link I needed to say, which was cool. And then for payment, sometimes I need to send it to a specific Google form or something like that. Um, but instead they, we did it quickly via email, but I do still need to actually do this. So I need to do that today. Um, and then you can obviously move these around once they're done, move them into completed or mark them differently etc and so i don't have to go digging through my email for all of this stuff it's all right there which is fantastic you can actually access it notion has an app and it's super simple to use so um i can just open it here and do that like on the go perfectly um again not having to dig through my email and all that stuff so it's just really great and then i'll quickly show you my korean study one and my other study um so again this is another just um pre-formatted template so you can actually label everything by class i have bubble 101 <laughs> um, then you can add directly in there for example let me open um this was all of my studying for season one episode one and i can link directly there so i can go there really quickly um and then you can check that you reviewed it for the day and stuff like that i also have for my other study i'm taking an understanding korean politics class um and so i can just really easily keep my notes in here and i can add in screenshots and links etc and because i recently went back and re-reviewed the things that um i did in this particular class um i went in and added images you can change up how you kind of organize things i like things to be in columns usually just to break it up um you can add in direct links to wikipedia which is really nice you can add comments basically telling yourself to review stuff more um again adding in links adding in direct embedding to wikipedia um this is just literally a screenshot from the class which is nice so you can just make your notes exactly how you want them to be and then once again i can click right here and go directly to my course it's just a really easy way to take notes and again because it's mobile it's just so easy to open it up and review it um really quickly having it there I just personally really love this way of taking notes and once again it just inspires me to actually take my classes seriously which is always fun so that is my note taking section oh and then what else do I have I have my weekly agenda which <laughs> check check did not do that so I'm gonna add that to Thursday <laughs> think um oops sorry parents if you're watching this it inspires me to study because i love taking notes in a weird way um so 
it's just actually helped me genuinely become more organized because I so greatly enjoy using the product, actually completing my lists and things like that, writing down things that I need to do. Um, so yeah, I just once again want to give a shout out to Notion who has sponsored this video. So there is a link in the description box where you can download it. You can use it either just on the website. There is also an app that you can have on your computer um, and then there's an app for your phones. So thank you so much Notion for helping me get back into the study zone. Um, I'm actually going to head outside as I said and I need to finish reading a book so that I can then map out my book content for next week. Air is so clear. Let me, since I've already talked your ear off, if any of you guys are still here, look at how clean that air is. Oh. So anyway, I am going to head out and get out of my pajamas. <laughs> um, let's get to work. Happy Wednesday. I don't know what this is. Okay, bye. It is September of 2021 and I was just about to get on the elevator without my mask. How I was just talking to my friend Karen about how I feel so comfortable with my mask that sometimes I forget that it's on. <laughs> All right, take two, let's go. <laughs> wide open the plant is doing well we got a new guy on the way yeah it just got a little too warm out there for me <laughs> so I'm back home and I have to do laundry and um, that's the story I'm gonna check on my my mushrooms I don't think anything's happened but you never know anybody home Nothing, right we don't see anything Welcome to my elevator. We are gonna go meet Kurt at Burger King. There is no Burger King nearby, so we're gonna walk pretty far, but there's a shrimp burger with my name on it. I've watched movies and been like, I gotta, I gotta learn how to can my own food. You are very close from conspiracy though. I feel like those two are very strongly related. day finally I have a really big project that I'm working on that I can tell you guys about soon it was taking up a huge chunk of my life and the due date is tomorrow and I finished it today I think um, so I am coming out here to read these are the only people in the park the rest of the park is all mine the weather is beautiful the air is so clean so um, yeah sorry looking a little rough but I am doing nothing seeing nothing today other than the fictional characters in my book. So I will catch you guys in a little bit. I will just be enjoying this retelling of A Thousand and One Nights and its sequel because I know that I'm gonna start the sequel right after I finish this. So, talk to you later.
My hand like cannot work. Ooh, let's look at the sunset. Oh my god, I'm so scared! Just do it that way. I don't want to have to do it that way. Okay, I hit it. It's fine. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I have no weapon! I have no weapon! <laughs> it's in the it's in the lamp. Ah, oh, it's down! <laughs> everyone we made it to Friday and um, Kurt actually has a day off today granted did he go in to work for a half day yes but technically he has the day off so um, we are going to get lunch and just walk around and hang out and stuff so I'm actually gonna end the vlog here next week it is Chuseok here in Korea which is kind of like Korean Thanksgiving um, so if you guys are celebrating, I hope you have a happy and safe holiday and once again Thanks so much to notion man Yesterday morning if this wasn't a top secret assignment I wish I could have shown you how much notion helps me organize my brain because there are just so many moving parts in this project that normally I don't have. Notion helped me out a lot and I'm actually, um, I have like two hours before we're going to get lunch so I'm actually going to do one of my Coursera classes and take notes um, using their lovely class format. So once again there is a link down below to check out Notion. It is free. Go check it out. It's very fun and it is Virgo season so you know that we want to make lists. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope the end of the year is off to a good start. I think that's it. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you always. Bye!